Hey what's going on guys, you are watching for you tech and today's in this video, we are going to do the installation and review of October 2018 update on Tenori. So let's get started. So this is my Tenori device. So first let's check out the about phone section on my smartphone. Recently I made video of Android version Oreo update on Tenori before 2 months I think. So this is my Android version that is Oreo. This is the octopus that we are getting in Oreo version. You can also see some another information here. Let's go back. Now you have to check the system update. So as you can see our system is up to date. As you can see here some information is there. It says that this software update enhances functions of your phone. Downloading via Wi-Fi is recommended. You can pause the video and check it out. The update size is 497.3 MB. Now let's click on download. Now the update is started to download. So here my update is successfully downloaded. As you can see the new software update provides this much things. Let's restart our smartphone. Okay, our oh, Android system update is preparing to update, so let's wait for some time. Now here, our Android is finally restarting. Now it's installing the system update. The installation process takes some time. So here, our Android is now on new update of October 2018. Now let's check out some features of this smartphone. What we get in this new update. So first, Google security update of October 2018 is provided here in this update. Second one is that general stability is provided and some bug fix improvements. So now let's check that if fingerprint is working good or not. Because some of the users were facing problems in fingerprint after the update. It was the bug I think. So now let's touch the sensor. So as you can see, fingerprint is not working at all. I am trying hard, but it is not still working as you can see. When I updated to Oreo, that time it was working good, but now what happened I don't know. So now let's check the third feature. The third feature we get here is fingerprint gestures are now enabled for notification bar. You have to go to system and click on gesture for enabling it. As you can see, the first option is about the fingerprint gesture. It says that swipe fingerprint for notifications. You have to click on that and simply click on on button. Now let's go back to the home screen and check whether the fingerprint gesture is working well or not. Okay, so it's working fine. So the fourth and the last option and a feature we get here is picture in picture support for applications to enable that you have to again go to the settings and now click on apps and notifications option here now again scroll down and click on advanced again scroll down and now click on special app access you can see the option at the last Click on that option and now you will see here menu options. You will get the picture in picture option 
at the middle. This is the picture in picture option. So now let's click on that option. Now you can see here couple of applications. I have enabled the YouTube and the WhatsApp application. So now I can use picture in picture. So that was the video for today guys. Thanks for watching my video. If you loved the video, please click on like button and want to see more videos then please subscribe. Then meet you in the next one.